for being the winner of the August edition of Big Just Niger um, Talent Hunt. Uh, can I meet you, Sama? Well, um, my name is Ademoye uh, Adetuji, and my wife's name of uh, 20 years. We have married for 20 years. She celebrating her birthday to be 45 uh, birthday. So we are children of God. We heard about this place and we decided to come to see what is really going on. So, so you, you didn't plan what you perform on stage? <laughs> This to win the contest, do you have that plan? Actually, when we are coming from home, we went for a spiritual exercise too. So now we're coming with branch at a friend place, and uh, they told us to attend the church and see for ourselves what is happening here. So, as a normal routine, whenever we are invited to any church like that, we don't just go for decisive. We want to go there and show what God has invented in us in terms of performing songs. And that's all we did. But when we got in there, we heard that people have uh, registered and uh, there's no chance. So something was telling me to go and meet the pastor. But I said, no, for what? So at the end of the day, I was pushed. I went to this church security church admin. okay? And I told her we came all the way from Ota, in the state. We are coming from somewhere, we branch here to do to fellowship, and we like to minister. We like to contest. Okay? We say we like to minister. I say, okay, if all the people that are registered, if any one of them did not come, then she will store things in. So that was how the favor came. We bless the Lord for that. So when your name uh, when you are aware that you are the winner, what was running through your mind? Obviously, we are personally. I was blank. I was blank. I was blank in the sense that I would be uh, in the church before. I actually saw the flyer on the floor, seeking for talent, hunt, and stuff like that. So the two of us went to the glory of God. Out of all people that minister that day, when we, the two of us, minister, the general overseer of that church and the wife stood up to hug us. To bless us, to embrace us. So we've been doing that. But this is the first place we are being rewarded for this. <laughs> so, what message do you have for the founder of this uh, Give Us Embassy International? Well, I tell people every day uh, intention is different from action. But it's like this man of God has the intention to bring people out of prophecy, and his action is actually. Going to yeah. So that is it. So and I want to say to him that it is not for me to begin to scrutinize is it God that sent him or is it not God that sent him or blah 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 that. But as long as he's meeting the need of people, Jesus said, I am hungry, you did not feed me. I am thirsty, you didn't give me water. I am naked, you didn't give me clothes. They said, Why, where did we see you? He said, in as much as you have not done it to this one, this one, you have not done for me. But he is doing it to people now. So that means he is doing it for God. You understand? He is doing it for God. I never dream of this kind of money, even this month. So, I bless the Lord for his life and for his mission, for his vision, and for the action that followed back to back. So may the Amen. name of the Lord be glorified in the life of Jesus. Amen. Amen. Madam, do you have anything to add to what Daddy has just said? Uh, uh, he has said it all. It was like I was surprised when the when the um, the um, was going on. Yes. When he called, I don't even actually I didn't I didn't know that they are going to compare with the number of people that are going to register. I know even thought of it, even to be a vendor, I did not, but 
like I know that everything is just for the glory of the Lord, and I really appreciate the demand of the Lord for what He's doing because it's like the Bible says you cannot get anything except you are getting it, I mean, getting it from the Lord. You know, I know that God has given him as a that, you know. Um, that virtue as just to reach out to people and really appreciate it. And I pray for him that his pockets will never run dry. Likewise, his anointing will never run dry. In this ministry, the Lord of hosts will continue to lift him up and his family. I appreciate it. So, finally, finally, uh, it seems that you have background in music. Well, we did, I. When we say background, that means from my family. No. But I just love music myself. And the hippo man, another name of about 19 years, saw me one day when I was ministering. I'm not married then. And he said, Oh boy, come. Are you writing down your songs? I said, No. He said, Ah, you are missing. Go and be writing it down. And from then, to the glory of God, we produced one album. But that album never seen the light of the day. But, but we still believe that one day, one day, God, in fact, the song we sang today was a general medley song where we just sat down and remix it, give it some battles, give it some flesh. So, thank you, God bless you, God bless you.